but we're on a little journey. A friend of mine, he's just opening up this Polynesian Cultural Center. This is on Maui. If you've ever been to Oahu, you know where the Polynesian Cultural Center is. And this is a replica, kind of of the same type of thing, and this one's in Maui. This is a first time visit. This is the first group. They're doing a trial run before they open this to the public. He's invited me here to show you around. He's not finished entirely with this whole entire project. He's going to put, he's going to make some more hales, and he's going to have a non-profit area too, where he can bring school kids up here and teach them about the different ways of the Hawaiians. And he's going to have that on down. This property goes quite a ways. I'm very impressed with it. He's going to have tours on here and stuff like that when he gets fully open. You know, if you ever get to Maui and you want to know about the Hawaiian culture, you don't have to go to Oahu to go to the Polynesian Cultural Center. You can come right here. If you're ever interested in that, let me know and I'll put you in contact with them. So Rick, tell me your entire vision of this property. <laughs> yeah, I see you've got four or three hollies built here, right? So the idea is you come up to this area here. This is where the hollies are, and this is where our stage area is at for the for the afternoon luau. So it's like a, more like a backyard luau rather than a, a big commercial thing at a hotel. Uh -huh. so this is really personal. So you, you you're up you're talking to the people that are doing the displays, and they're the same people that are going to be putting on the, nice. the meal and doing the, the afternoon show. So you're going to have a full luau here. She's a full out luau, a backyard, but a traditional Hawaiian, not the fire dancers. That is Hawaiian luau. So you're right. Hawaiian dancers. Right. And uh, all the fellows that work here are all Hawaiian the ladies. They're all Hawaiian people. Yeah. So They'll be doing this as authentic as you get to. <laughs> but now, how many more um, hollies are you going to build? I saw the foundation down below. There'll be three more hollies down below. We'll oh, down, down three more three down more there. Three more down there as well. Yeah. Okay. So with different uh, little yeah. So the way we did the stations on. today, we did you know two things in each holly. Where oh, okay. It'd be flowing, so you do one in each holly and just keep moving your way down. So you're going to have four. You can have four different stations. Four different stations. Yeah. For different things yeah. on the Hawaiian culture. Yeah, and typically we would just be using these just for serving the food up here. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you're now you said this area had something to do with the swinging bridge. This, this, What's that all about? This valley was the original swinging bridge tour. Like if you look at the, the tour books, it still says swinging bridges. Uh -huh. That tour doesn't exist anymore. The road up here was shut off by the neighbor and then stopped the, the tour going up to the swinging bridges. Because you had some people come up here looking for the swinging bridges. Yeah, every day there's you? people coming. Every day. Every day yeah, they every come day. up here looking for the swinging bridges. They want to do the swinging bridges tour. So what we're going to do, we're going to let them have the swinging bridges tour. Because <laughs> our, our land is the start of the authentic swinging bridge tour. There's the original swinging bridge still exists down there. It's right. getting pretty dilapidated. It's still got the cables going across. So we're going to recreate that so that when you come in, You'll go across the original swinging bridge, take a walk through the jungle, walk along the river. Nice. Walk, work your way up through the jungle, and eventually, all of a sudden, the Hawaiian village emerges. Okay, and cool. to see how people lived uh, in the authentic times. That'd be awesome to walk around uh, across some swinging bridges. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they're going to be going across the, 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 the river. The river. The river. Yeah. yeah. And I saw an awesome banyan tree there, too. So 
tree is awesome. That, you're gonna, when you come up through the river, you're going to come right up to that banyan tree. That's a, is your photo stop right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can catch that on the way back down. Yeah, we'll down. try to catch that. We'll show you where the trail is starting to go down. You know, we've got our uh, sweet potatoes uh, are yeah. going to there. Oh. And some dry land taro. We'll take you past the dry land taro and uh -huh. show you all that. Yeah. We've got a lot. Of, I think we've got 20 different varieties of taro right now. We're trying to make this the seed stock for taro. So that uh -huh. if the family wants taro to grow, we just give them the seed stock and they can take it home and nice. grow their own taro, depending on what type of taro they like. So. Uh -huh. We're, what, we're trying to be as community oriented as we can. Like the, the extra food, we just give back to the community and just help out wherever we can. With people. Our, our crew actually, uh, it's a lot of work tending to these taro fields. And, uh, so when people need help, if they get behind, we just send our crew down to, to help people out and get their uh -huh. fields back in shape. And yeah. Help out now, where we can. now, you said you were going to do a non, like a non profit here yeah, too, the, right? For, here, for some kids. This will be a paid tour to come into the actual village. Right. But uh, the first part of our property is still all full out jungle. We're just developing it now. But the taro plots still exist in there. So we're going to reestablish those, and then the kids from the schools can come up and, and learn their culture and see oh. how, the, how the food is growing and experience uh, working in a taro plot and, and tending to the land and uh -huh. learn their culture. Wow. And that'll all be free just for, for the schools to come and use. All right. And different community groups. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, what gave you this idea, Rick? Come on. <laughs> You know, I think this actually started, uh, I'm from Canada, it, it kind of started there. I wanted to do something with the native people back in Canada, uh -huh. uh, but they were so seasonal there, it's tough to do something like that here. So we got together with some of my Hawaiian friends here and we, we put it all together and dreamt it up and uh, yeah. Yeah, it just kind of came together. <laughs> because I've never really heard of this on any other island other than Oahu, the Polynesian Cultural Center. That's the, so this is kind of... Kind of along that line, except more traditional Hawaiian. Because uh -huh. we want to keep with the roots, like the fellows we've got working here, and the ladies. They want to, they're really experiencing their culture, and we want to just uh, let that whole culture develop and, and grow and, and, and share it back with the community. Yeah. Well, I wish you great luck with this project. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.